Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you are doing great. Last video, I covered what is LangSmith and how to implement LangSmith in LangChain, right? I have already created many videos in my YouTube playlist of LangChain where I have covered different topics and Flowwise was one of that, right? I have created already two different videos in Flowwise. So what is Flowwise? That is a UI to build customized large language model flow using LangChain.js, right? In this video, I am going to use LangSmith in Flowwise AI. At the end, we will see a good looking UI of Flowwise and something like this, where the traces will be recorded in the project that is being created inside LangSmith, similar to what we did before in the earlier video. Let's get started. Okay, first let's go through the initial step that you need to follow, right? You need to go to this LangSmith website. I have explained all these things in my previous video, but what I forgot to mention is that this is in active development and it is in the early stage, that is in the beta stage, right? When you go to this particular account, let me open in incognito, right? So you, it will be ask you to log in or sign up, right? So if you go through the GitHub or Discord, that's how it you can log in directly, but you might not get access directly, right? So if I go with, let's say sign in with GitHub, and let me go with one of the account here. If I do sign in, I will be inside this, but as you can see here, you will be displayed with this particular thing here. It says, thank you for signing up. It is still in closed beta and we are slowly rolling access to more users. So it might take some time for you to get access in this particular LangSmith project. Once that is done, we will have something like this, right? Let's go to the home page. So you will be seeing something like this. I have already created some projects. So this is one step. You need to go here and create a new project. I have already created the project here called LangSmith Flowwise, right? When you create the project, there will be some runs and setup, right? In the beginning, there will be no traces and no runs, only the setup, right? What you need from here is just this part of the code right you don't even need all this part i will show you what next you need to do right so now what you need to do is go to the github repository of flowwise ai right so this is the repository what you need to do is first fork this particular repository and when you fork this particular repository you can use this yourself right so that is what i did here if i go to the repository I have already forked this, right? So I will go inside here. When I go inside here, it will be showing here like this, forked from Flowwise AI, right? So the easiest way in order to get started is going through the GitHub code space. For that, you need to go to this code part and in the code space, you need to create a code space, meaning that if you just click this plus icon, it will create a new environment for you. I have already created this. So as you can see here, it says active, right? That is the next step you need to do. Now I will go to the one where it is already open in the GitHub code space, right? So this is the one that is already open in code space. I haven't done anything here except the fact that I have already provided the environment variables. So what you need to do is if you go a little bit down here, we don't need to do the install flow wise with npm because we are going to go through docker i went through the npm installation process but for some reason it was throwing some error and i find that docker was the one to go so i will show you what you need right we will be following this docker part so you need to go to docker folder at the root of the project right but first make sure that you have docker installed right so i'm using github code space so it already has docker if i do docker version you can see that there is already the docker but if you don't have you need to go to the docker website and first download docker locally right and then as i'm already in the github code space i have already cloned this it is already cloned directly right so if not what you need to do is you need to go a little bit down here you need to first clone this repository and go inside the flowwise, right? I'm already inside the flowwise. If I do PWD, right, this is the flowwise. 
and in the docker part what you need to go is go inside the docker folder right as we need to go inside the docker folder as it is mentioned here it says copy dot env example file and paste it into same location and rename to dot env right so if you go here there is docker right and there is example where is um, there is dot dot env dot example if i click this what is inside here these are the environment variables right and there is already this lang smith part also mentioned here right i will show you this because i will i am going to revoke the api keys so it's not a problem so what i did was i followed this particular instruction copy this right so you can just do cp dot env dot example right and then give dot env when you run this particular command the dot env file will be created so i will show you what is inside here everything is same except the fact that now i have placed this according to what i have in my lang smith right so if i go to the lang smith these are the things that i had right so lang chain trace by the way this first two lines you don't need even need to change the only thing that you need to change is the project name that you provided here right and then the your api key if you want to go through the api key you need to go to this key icon and create a new api key and that's all i have already created this so i'm not going to create right so i just did what i what i did okay this is the project setup i just use this part right and i went through where is it here and then just provide it by the way don't forget to remove the export part right because sometimes i find some of you facing issue that okay you just copied this and said it is not working but there is export export is there if you want to paste this in the terminal but we are not going through that part now if you go just here you provide the environment variables and you save this right that is another step once you provided this in dot env you need to bring all of those into the docker compose dot ml file right so here as you can see i added these four lines here i have seen in github repository some of them mentioned that it is not working because they forget to provide this particular thing in docker compose dot yml file right so what you need to do is just provide this line lang chain tracing v2 and just provide lang chain tracing v2 in the curly brackets this takes the environment variables from dot env when you provide this four additional piece of information you can just save this file and go to the terminal right so i don't need this let me just say no for now right and yeah that is all you need to do and now i can just go cd dot dot right and what is the next step you need to do if you go to the information it says docker compose op dash d right so you need to write docker compose op dash d so it doesn't work why because we came out that is the another reason why i just went outside that particular folder right because we need to be inside the docker folder this is cd docker because i find many of you getting confused because you are in the root directory and then it doesn't work right so what you need to do is again run the same command with the op arrow in the keyboard you can go to the previous commands and now you can docker compose op dash d right so when you run this it is going to do all the necessary things here and it ask me to open in local host meaning that now i am on github code space but it can be worked similar to how we work locally right we can open in local host but this went quite fast for me because i had already created the docker image before if you go here and run docker images you will see that the docker image is being created right and that is 3.19 gigabyte i have already created but for you it might take one minute or so in order to create the docker image and now we are here so it sometimes it does not show the content just reload the page and it will work right so now i'll just show you one simple example for that i'm not going to go through the ui part because you can refer to my earlier flow wise videos 
you can create your own or you can go to the marketplace and choose one of these things from here right so i just choose one with a simple example so this is the simple conversation chain right i will show you again how to do this you can choose one of these and use template and this will be your now right and here you need to provide your open ai api key here if you go down here i have already created one called lang flow lang smith but i can create a new one just to show you so this is the open ai api you can just give the random name here i will just give flow wise and you need to have the api key now for the api key you need to go to this open ai platform create a new api key create new copy this go back to uh, the flow wise ui and control v I'm showing you this because I'm going to revoke this again. So you need to add this, right? Once this is done, this is a simple example. So we know we don't need to do anything here. First, don't forget to save this. Save and give the name. I will just give random chat UI. I will just save this. This is saved now. Now what I can do is just go to this chat icon here. I have already asked one what is Google question before, but if you go back, I'll make this here. I will just ask random questions here. Let's say what is Twitter answer in maybe let's say two sentence. Okay, there is a typo, but it will understand, right? Okay, Twitter is a social media platform and all the different things, right? But the main thing here is not to ask the question, but to see these traces in the Lang Smith, right? Now, if I will refresh this page and I will go to the traces, right? As you can see here now, we are we find the traces, right? So traces I asked here, okay, what is Twitter? Answer in two sentence. There is the typo, but it just comes here what it is, right? And you can see here that this is the chain, conversational chain, and there is this chat open AI is the LLM, right? And you can even see all the different questions that I asked. What is Google? The answer is here. What is Twitter? Answer is here. So yeah, this is all the traces. It You can even give the feedback here. Let's read this. I said yes. And now you can see in the feedback, it appears here. You, you can have the metadata also. Okay, which model is being used and what is the temperature and all the different things. If you scroll down here, yeah. As you can see, this is the metadata which might be necessary in your production label applications. And you can open in playground also. You can add to data set, meaning that you can see that there is some data here. If you go here, you can add the data set and here is the input. The following is the friendly conversation. Human, what is Google AI answer? Here is human and AI, meaning that you can create a data set to train your own LLM later on, right? So this is really good part of Langley Smith. You can go here and open in playground. So playground is, is really good because as you can see, this is the default metadata being provided right but what you can do here is just tweak this whatever you want let's say we want to have 1.9 temperature you want to have maximum length let's say something like this right and this is the original run two minutes ago and here is the things right and you can just submit this now so we did some changes here right and it says error open api key for this in load something is missing here it's a secrets and api keys you need to provide the api key here if you see here there is no api key right i just copied that api key before i will just paste it here and if i go here and just submit this neighbor it is going to run here again right why this is because now we have provided the api key directly here right if you want to go through the playground then that is how it works this is just a glimpse of you what you can do but you get the idea and you can go to the history part and you can see all the history right what is google what is twitter what is google again what is twitter and all the different things and if you go back here is the projects that we have and there is the playground that we just created and there is the data set part i haven't created yet one more thing before ending this video i just want to show you that okay now the app is running here the flow is ui right and we are using the docker compose op dash d to run this right as you can see here you can bring the containers down by docker compose stop what you can do is just write here docker dash compose and stop right so when i run this 
it says stopping docker flow wise one now if you go to the ui and if you refresh the page it will not run because we just use the docker compose stop to stop this particular container and now if you again want to start it you can just run this docker compose op dash d that's all what i wanted to cover in this video i hope it was helpful thank you for watching and see you in the next video